Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. Today we're going to talk about the life of the crip. Now, I did basically this video, just way shittier version of it, uh, just a few months after I had started streaming. And uh, as probably a lot of you don't actually know, this was basically three years ago. Uh, I have been streaming for about three years. I have been producing YouTube content for roughly twice that. And uh, man, it's been quite a journey. A lot of things have changed. In, in just about every every way and uh, I thought I'd go over and show you guys just the kind of stuff that I do the things that I experience the things that I have to get done every single day so you guys can see that playing games all day is the very optimistic side of seeing the situation that I'm in so yes I have been doing this for about three years at the start I was streaming for about 20 hours a day dropped it to about 16 for about a month, and then from 12, I settled at about 10 hours of streaming a day. In the last year, I've been streaming for eight and a half, probably closer to nine if you average it out, because on some days I stream a few hours extra, uh, just because I need more time to get all the rest of the stuff done. And the rest of the stuff includes, you know, YouTubes and all the other stuff, and I realized several months ago that it's it's so much to do and I was at the point where I couldn't actually get anything done and since then quite some time now I've been working with uh, Rania my girl on just about everything and we've done a pretty good job but we're both now absolutely busy all the time so what do we do um, well I wake up at 7 in the morning, I try to stream uh, about 30 minutes after I get up, but we snooze for about 20 minutes because getting up is pretty slow because I'm pretty shitty at sleeping, so I'm yeah, half asleep for the first few hours, a few hours of the day anyway. Uh, stream starts, hit up some Hearthstone most of the days. Uh, a few hours into the stream I eat, which is kind of like the in-between breakfast and lunch, which is my first out of the two meals of the day. Uh, and I stream games for, again, eight and a half to nine hours on most days. When I'm done that, I get to work on uh, checking out the kind of content, checking out some ideas for the YouTube videos. Now, if you guys have been subscribed on YouTube for quite some time, you would know that um, there has been a reasonable quality jump in the YouTube videos, and I have seen the response from you guys, and I know you guys like it, but you know, I, I, I do most of the stuff that you guys end up seeing on YouTube. I do all the editing, I do uh, a lot of the footage, Rania helps me with that a little bit, um, but it's pretty crazy. Uh, for every every game that you see, like here's here's a, a file in Vegas that, that I've edited, here's, I have a few for you guys to see, you know, every moment of the game, uh, I have to see it at least twice. I have to see it once to make sure that the content is good, that it's fine. I have to record it again. I have to uh, go through it a second time to cut out the dead parts. So every every minute of Hearthstone footage I've seen probably close to three to four times. So if you see like a one hour video, well, I've uh, I've seen four hours of, of Hearthstone. Uh, and, you know, I have to plan these things in advance. I have to see what's going on, what's going on on Reddit, what's going on and generally in the Hearthstone community or whatever game I might be playing. Sometimes it's a Diablo video as, as had happened in the last few, uh, last few weeks, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, then I have to really think about what I'm going to do when I do a YouTube video, when I do the talking part at the start, the the no no skipperino, the cripperino, that part some of you guys have never seen before. Well, that part I just one shot every single video. You know, I, I just sit in front of the camera and I talk for about ten minutes. Nothing is cut out, nothing is edited out, uh, unless I just say some really dumb stuff, which maybe maybe one time out of thirty that happens, and I have to record it again. But you know, the idea is that it takes a lot more time. So. Many months ago, um, when I didn't really care too much about the quality of what I was producing, um, I would spend probably on average like 20 to 30 minutes on a YouTube video. You'd, you'd often see if it was like gameplay, you'd just see gameplay, no, no Cripperino, and it'd be like, you know, five minute video, six minute video. Uh, if you'd see the Cripperino, it'd be like really half-assed, there'd be no overlays, there'd be no talking about how cards interact with stuff, how, you know, there'd be no thought process. and yeah, I mean, there's there's a big difference, but there's a big difference in the time that I invest in this stuff to, um, you know, make really good content for you guys, and it's 
it's a lot. So I wake up, I stream for like nine hours, I eat during the stream, then I spend four, sometimes more than that, on the YouTube video. Sometimes it's, it's literally all the way until I fall asleep. I try to find some time to eat, and uh, you know, then I, I check, I do the Twitterino thing. Twitter has grown quite a bit. Uh, Danya has helped me a lot with that, uh, showing me kind of how it works, and we've, we've kind of put it in, in, in a little bit of a science to, to make it more effective for you guys uh, and for us to get the content out there. And there's, there's like hundreds of PMs that I get. There's crazy amounts of events that I'm associated with. A lot of the stuff happens online, so I think probably on average every two to three days I have to spend 30 minutes to an hour talking to someone, either about like a, an interview, an event, some casting thing, some consulting, talking with maybe a sponsor, something like that. Uh, and it, it, it gets pretty crazy. Rania, on the other hand, she does a lot of the back-end stuff. She ends up dealing with the sponsors, doing like paperwork, reviewing a lot of options, because we get approached with a lot of ideas, a lot of potential sponsors, a lot of just messages, inquiries. You know, some guy wants to do an interview, we have to like, uh, you know, do some event, we have to like, as we, as we are right now, we have to go to Germany to uh, participate in the Take TV Seed Story Cup again that kind of stuff and she basically handles all that stuff uh, and it is a lot of stuff to handle because while you know a lot of people who just see the content they only see it you know the finished product in terms of planning in terms of organizing in terms of getting everything together in the best possible way it is a huge effort and uh, she does handle most of that for me and it makes my life a lot easier um, but still I basically have zero to about 60 minutes of free time every day. Um, and when it comes to the time before events, the time before I have to like travel, I literally have zero time at all because um, when I'm gone, I really try to update you guys with YouTube videos every single day. And when I'm gone, I also try to upload stuff on like Twitter and on Instagram. You guys should check that stuff out because I do spend time and I think a lot of people enjoy it. Um, but because I only have like an hour a day and it takes me like three to four hours to make a video, for every day that I'm gone, I need to spend, uh, you know, basically two or three days to make up, to use that spare time, the free time that I have for YouTube content for the day that I'm gone. And because I'm gone roughly once a month for like uh, three to six, seven days, I basically have absolutely no free time at all for anything. And that is a pretty crazy thing because you guys know I don't I don't take weekends I don't take time off I've, the only time off that I take is because I have to be somewhere else and if I'm somewhere else I'm not really taking time off it's it's stuff that I've organized to do that you know it's it's worth doing and hopefully you guys enjoy so yes now I'm in Greece I'm not in Canada though I will be going back to Canada uh, hopefully forever at least for a long while coming up in about two months. Uh, I've come here to be with my girl Rania and things have gone pretty well, a lot of things have changed. Um, it's true, you know, back in the day when I started streaming, I was playing some pretty hardcore games. Most of those games don't exist anymore or I'm just bored of them. And, you know, I was spending most of my time uh, learning the game, being just really, really, really the best at the game. And uh, that's changed a little bit. Uh, well, I played a lot of Hearthstone and... Well, I'm really happy with the uh, the kind of content and the way I experience the game. I don't really feel I have to prove much at this point, so I just have a lot of fun when I play, and I hope that shows at least when I'm not too salty on stream. But the part that comes into the effort of producing all the things that you see and making it all happen in the best possible way and the time investment right now is the most hardcore point that I've ever been at in my life. And, you know, I've, I've, I've done a lot of things in my life the hard way. So, I mean, probably a lot of you guys won't see that as much weight, but I can tell you that it is, it is very difficult to keep this going, especially for as long as I have. But in the end, you know, we're still going. We're gonna keep this going as long as, it, as long as it can go, hopefully forever. That part has never changed. The content has improved. And, you know, I'm glad that at least most of you guys agree with that and see 
how most things are better this way. But still, you guys have to understand that Crip right now is more hardcore than ever. It's just he's more of a hardcore streamer and YouTuber than, you know, exploiting games as he was a few years back. But still, man, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done right now even. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys realize that. And I'll, I know a lot of you guys have, you know, the dream to, you know, stay home and play video games all day like the Crip and do all that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, if you do have that dream, um, it, you, you will have to decide whether it's, it's worth pursuing. But you have to understand that uh, I think the people that are successful, and I think I, I am fairly successful in this field, you have to be absolutely committed, absolutely hardcore to pushing that idea, to investing your time, to literally giving it your all. Like at this point, if, if I didn't work together with my girl Rania, I, I couldn't, like you, you guys wouldn't even see uh, a lot of stuff that, that I produce because, you know, it, together we're doing more than two people can normally do you know, within the, within the 24 hour period. And we're doing that every single day. So, yeah. No life crypt's still around. Even though I want to see. A lot of things have changed, but I'm glad that uh, a lot of you guys have stuck around. I hope you guys still enjoy the content. Hope you guys uh, enjoy everything that I do because, you know, in the end, um, that's really that's really the best feeling when I see you guys react positively to something it really makes it all worth it so I hope that's still the case hope you guys you hope you guys continue to enjoy the content uh, that's gonna come out in the future and well good things are coming hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow